It's 4.30 in Hawaii, and Yolanda is ready to style Mrs. Segisi's hair. I'm going to try to make a downward type swoop. This makeup looks horrible. She looked more natural before, but the customer's always right. I didn't know Mrs. Segisi when she was alive. This is what the family wants, so this is what we're going to do. In the funeral industry, most people that are embalmers aspire to become funeral directors. To them, this is kind of like the low end. To me, I don't ever want to get out of here. I love it in here. I want to make her look as nice as I can for them so that they don't give Kyle a hard time tonight at the service. Tease it up a little, give her a little poofiness. And also so that they will be happy because that is my goal back here, to make them happy out there without ever having to see them. There. Close her up and she will be ready for her service tonight. Here we go. At the service, Mrs. Segisi's daughter will be the final judge of Kyle and Yolanda's work. I'm open a casket, she's gonna look at the hair. And at that point, there's nothing more that can be done. There's a sink or swim tonight. And the parking lot's full. Be a couple hundred people here tonight easily, yeah? Plus. When you do a funeral that has lots of people that come, that's an important thing for us because we like to show off what we do. And we know we can handle a big crowd. <laughs> We're being tested every time we come out and do this. Mom loves love it, mother and sister. It's like a theater performance. And every performance has to be good. It has to be perfect. The fluorescent lighting is an embalmer's worst nightmare. At our place, the lights are so good so that everybody looks really good there. And then we don't know the light situation of the destination where we are going, so it's gonna look very different. No, we're dead. There's a light right over the casket. Did you get a chance to take a look? Yeah. I don't know if we could ever make it perfect. There'd probably always be something but, you know, having gone through this before with a parent, that's how it is. You look at the person in the casket and you don't want to believe that that's actually your parent that's dead, that died. And there's nothing you can do. Her makeup is dead to the light. It doesn't look natural. There's a veil we're going to put over the casket right now. Oh, so that should help some of it. Yeah. The light is a fluorescent light, and I tried to make it as dark as you know we could. Just okay. We'll we'll try um, the, the veil. That should help. With the veil in place, Mrs. Segisi's daughter is finally satisfied. She said the mother looks very nice, so I'm relieved. <laughs> Although we went through a lot with Mrs. Sagisi earlier, These are her friends from Lucky Base Band. at least it showed that you know somebody really cared enough to be that critical and to look that closely at her, and that makes all of the running around and all this kind of rushing worth it. When they appreciate what you do, it makes everything worth it. It's the end of the day at Moanalua Mortuary, but there is still some unfinished business. This is sort of like a ritual. Nice, it's a nice added touch for the families as well as the deceased. Once a month, Bonnie will offer prayers up for those that are lost. She has a little service where she kind of ushers them on their way out. We humbly ask the Creator to bless and receive these souls. Andrea Segisi, Ursula Domingo. After this, we're going to go see my husband at his tattoo shop. Go hang out with him for a little bit. This tattoo that I have, the ancient Hawaiians would wear for people that uh, worked with bodies. It's a shark's tooth design. The teeth are pointing out to keep the bad spirits out. So it's kind of like a protection. And my husband has the same tattoos. 
She's good at what she does. It, it's creepy and she's kind of odd, but she's really good at it. Every job I've ever worked at, I've only stayed for about four years tops because I've always tried to look for something better, look for something better. Here in Hawaii, there is nothing better. This is the best where I'm at now, so I can't see myself going anywhere else. I plan, as of right now, I plan on being there forever. Until I die. Or retire. Whichever comes first. Going home, basically, at the notes, once somebody dies, they'll go to meet their maker. That's often how we metaphorically describe that passage. We talk about this is our heavenly beam uh, with the intent of showing the departed spirits the correct direction of where to go. I realized my own mortality when my father died. I think it just put things in perspective. You know, appreciate the day you have today and and make it as good as possible.